welcome back to another week of Summer Tips from SHE. This evening, I'm with my wonderful friends Stephanie Tapia and Zanetta Romero, and we are standing in Stephanie's master bedroom. Now, the reason I wanted to film Stephanie and her husband Paul's master bedroom was because I think it has a really cool story behind it. Would you ladies like to sh share what that story is? Sure, sure. So it all started um, when my husband retired a couple of years ago. Uh, we were able to finally finish this room. When we built this house, um, we never finished the master bedroom. We kind of left it plain and because we ran out of money. So when he retired, we had the extra money to, um, to totally redo it. I called Zanetta and I asked her for some advice on a simple paint color because she's awesome at decorating. I've always loved everything she's done in her own home and um, it kind of grew from there. So she helped me pick out the paint color and um, I was a little nervous at first because it's a yellow, but it was, um, um, I just trusted her. Everything that we did, we prayed about. We prayed, prayed, prayed. When you bring everything to the Lord, He just aligns everything so perfectly. It started with the paint color and then we picked out the bedroom. Um, and I, that's probably the only thing I could take credit for is the bedroom set. We picked it out, me and my husband, and um, she told me, go dark. So I took her to see the bedroom set that we had picked out and um, she, we were looking around and she started seeing things that she wanted, she could see in my bedroom. We found this yellow color which is just so awesome for this room and just really warms it up um, and, and went with the dark and she also um, asked me about the Vegas and her fireplace that you'll see here in a minute and we went with a dark color for that as well so I just want to encourage you ladies not to be afraid of paint colors. So as we were walking around the furniture store, she kept looking at something and I didn't know what she was looking at. So she finally stopped and she said, hey, do you, do you like this? And she picked up this pillow. And I said, sure. <laughs> I didn't know where she was going with it. So she says, I really, I, this is a beautiful pillow and I really could use this. And do you trust me? And I said, I thought black, okay, but I was, oh, I, again, I totally trusted her, and I, and I trust the Lord, ultimately, because we were praying about it, so I said, yeah, sure, so we bought, you know, I paid for the pillow, and, um, and then, th then this became the inspiration for the room. As you see here, like, the pillow is not, I don't know if you could tell very much, but it's not just a black pillow with yellow on it, it um, has, like, a little bit of beige, this other color looks like a little orangey, brownish, um, but again, this is, like Steph said, it was the inspiration for the room. After we got this pillow, um, Zanetta is so, the way she is, is she likes to surprise. So she started, she started having this vision and she said, do you trust me? I don't, you know, I have all these things that I want to get you, but I don't want you to see them. I just want you to trust me. And I said, sure. So let me know when you need money. And again, you know, money was limited. So we prayed about that too. Mm -hmm. And um, she picked out the beds, the bedspread, the bedding. Um, she picked out everything without showing it to me, and I totally trusted her. Steph already told you guys this was the this pillow was the inspiration for the room. And again, I just really want to emphasize um, that we didn't, you know, go real matchy matchy in this room, and you don't have to do that with your own room either. Um, so the next thing that I was able to find was this rug here that um, you're going to see that Nicole's going to show you. And um, the rug um, has reds in it. It has black to kind of tie in the pillow a little bit. Um, and it has a few different colors. It also has some green in it um, and some yellow to pull out the color from the wall. And just not too much though. It, it has the least amount of yellow, I think, than any of the colors. But um, the green that's on the rug too, you'll see in a minute how Stephanie's bathroom kind of um, adjoins with her room, but we didn't match everything. Um, the paint color is different in there, and, but we pulled some of the green. So you'll see how you can tie in two rooms but make them two completely separate rooms. Another thing, Nicole, is this great budget saving tip is that when um, I actually found this comforter, I found something that was solid and again tying in that pillow that I found. We have a few of these in the room. But um, tying in that, that um, color, this is like a beige, so again it's not yellow to, to match the wall exactly. But um, going with the solid color is really nice because later on down the road if you want to change up anything in here, you can pull different colors from the rug. Um, and you can switch out your pillows and make your room look completely different. So that's something that um, I would keep in mind when redecorating your room. Ladies, here's the bathroom that we were talking about. Um, this bathroom kind of adjoins in with Stephanie's master bedroom. We chose a totally different paint color in here, which is like a light um, tan color. I think it was called oatmeal or something like that. But again, this pulls a little bit from um, the room, like what you see like on the um, comforter or even a little bit in the pillow actually. 
but um, this room can be totally separate. Sometimes I think that we keep colors, this, we tend to want to keep colors the same because these rooms seem like they go together. Um, it was actually kind of funny when her husband was painting it, he was like, are you serious? Like with these different colors, it just looked odd to him without everything in here. But um, anyway, so we went with that and like I mentioned the green on the rug, um, I kind of pulled in some of the green in here that you can see like on the some of the candles and like the different accessories over here. The towels and things like that went with some green and then added some um, darker colors to tie in with the room as well. One weekend when we finally had all of the, you know, the, uh, the tile done, my, my husband did all the tile, we stained the vegas and painted and we didn't decorate it at all. So we were all done finally and Zanetta in the meantime had been getting all these things. We had to go on a, a baseball trip, a, a tournament, so she said, hey, can I, can I have the keys to your house? I'm gonna, I, I'd like to go put some stuff in. So I said, sure. Gave her my keys. We came home and it was completely decorated, ready to go. It was, it was so amazing. I can't describe the feeling walking in. It was like home makeover. It was, it was so cool. And um, I just, what a blessing it was to me that um, my friend who's my absolute, uh, treasure she we call each other DJ because um, we have a Don, Jonathan David relationship and I just um, I just absolutely love her what a blessing it was for me to have her do that for me it wasn't even about the room it was about what she did and that she never complained she just did it selflessly another surprise that she had was um, she had two we had recently taken family pictures she had two uh, pictures of me and my husband blown up and she framed them in beautiful frames and so we can add them into the room and make this our room because before this my kids had kind of taken over my room they were ironing in here getting ready in here and it became kind of like a family family room so we decided no this we're, ta we're taking we're claiming our room back <laughs> so she had these pictures done and she surprised us with that so we have a picture in here in the bathroom of me and my husband and we're going to be showing you another picture in the actual master bedroom this is the other picture um, that Zanetta made for us that we put in here. And I want to talk a little bit about making um, your bedroom a sanctuary. Um, you know, if you're married for me and my husband, this is our sanctuary. This is a place where we can come and um, be alone together. We can relax. It's just, just us. And so my kids aren't allowed in here anymore unless they're invited or they ask. And, um, and it's, the pictures are just of us, so it's just... You know, make it a place for just you too. I try to speak my husband's love language, which is love language to him, which is um, personal touch and affirmative um, words of affirmation. So I started journaling to my husband, and I, you know, he loves that and gets, you know, I can tell him things and that maybe I can't I have a harder time telling him face to face, whatever. But for me, writing is is um, something that I, I can express myself a lot better. So it's something that I do for my husband. And not all the time, but sometimes I'll leave it on his pillow. Um, another thing is personal touch. And, I, you know, sometimes we can just be in here and put an old movie on. And I'm rubbing his hair, which he loves, and I'm speaking love to my husband. And I just, that, you know, the marriage is, that's where it's built. It's between you and your, your husband and, and then the kids, you know. So my family room is for my kids. This is our room and our, our sanctuary. If you're single, I you know you can make this your your master bedroom sanctuary for you and the Lord because if you're single, the Lord is your husband. So maybe that's where you can have your quiet time. I don't know how that looks for you, but um, journaling and you know make it um, make it special and intimate with the Lord. Another thing that um, Zanetta did for us was um, she had she bought this frame and she put this scripture in it, and I just thought that was so beautiful. It's Song of Solomon. 1, 15 through 17. So again, this is just another special touch that brings an intimacy into this room. Um, speaking words of affirmation to my husband is, you know, is uh, lifting him up, building him up, and um, and helping him be the man of God that God created him to be. So I just thought this was beautiful, and um, again, she's such a blessing to me. Thanks so much for having us in your beautiful master bedroom tonight, Stephanie. We really appreciate it. And Thank you guys for sharing the beautiful story that goes behind it. I'm so happy that everyone out there gets to hear this story. And I guess the main things that I took from, from this evening on decorating this bedroom were um, to find an object that you love and just base the whole room around that, um, like, you, like you did with the pillow, Zanetta. Yeah. You can do that with a piece of furniture, a piece of art, um, even something as simple as a, a seashell. Find something you love and you can build your whole room or your whole house around it. 
And the second thing I think I would take from this evening is um, journaling. I too love to journal, but I love that you journal to your husband. I just think that's so precious. And, and whoever you are, you can journal like Stephanie said, to your husband the Lord, if you're not married yet, um, or to your children. You can really get creative with that. And the last thing that really stood out to me, and it's the thing that stood out to me the most, is your guys' friendship. Anyone who knows Stephanie and Zanetta knows that they truly are BFFs and all that that entails. And Stephanie, I just love that you uh, recognize your best friend's strength and you really just help her to like shine with it. Mm -hmm. So often you see friendships or so-called friendships and they want to extinguish each other's strengths. And I just think that's so beautiful. And you really trusted her. You just basically said, go for it. And that's really hard to do. That's relinquishing control. Um, and Zanetta, I just love that you were so willing to go for it, like Stephanie asked you to. Um, a friend who's really, like she said, selfless and really to sacrifice of your time and your energy. I just think that's so neat that you were willing to do it and come in and decorate while she was gone. I just think that's a beautiful story of friendship. Like you guys talked about David and Jonathan, you truly are that. So ladies, I just want to challenge you out there. This week, really give of yourself. Give to your friends, to whatever relationships with, that you really need to work on. A friendship is also something where we really have to display grace. A lot of grace um, because sometimes one friend can give more than the other so I just encourage you ladies to, to do that in your relationships this week have a lot of grace a lot of love and patience and um, just be willing to die to yourself and give to that other person thank you for joining us for this week of summer tips from she we hope that you join us again next week and we just hope that you're very blessed this week